What's going on? What's going on, Cancer? It I done drunk all my tea cans, so we're good goddamn, all right? Well, let's switch it up with the water, with the aqua. Okay? I'm reloaded, okay? So, Cancer, it's Scorpion Red Tarot. What's going on, baby? You have made it to the bonus round, baby. Yes, indeed. You were one of the top three. Of course, I said I was only going to do the top two, but goddamn, Cancer, y'all done, y'all was like neck and neck with damn Leo, so I was like, I can't not give cancer uh you know a bonus video because y'all showed up and y'all showed the fuck out too so i love you for it so congratulations okay congratulations so real quick i want to just give a shout out to all of the love um and, and support that's been given to my channel and especially all the well wishes to me and my family because as y'all know um we have been battling the flu, and um, I'm still a little bit sick, so if you do hear me coughing a little bit, that's why, because I'm still, you know, coming up out of it. Um, so, uh, I was able to make a lot of progressions in regards to equipment and things like that. I have lighting now. I have a camcorder, as you can see. My cell phone is tucked over here, and I'm not recording on my phone anymore. Um, I have a lot of new decks here, and um, all of the decks that I am using today, all of them are brand new decks, okay? All of these are new. So like I said, I was able to purchase a new camcorder. I was able to get these new decks for you guys to be able to experience and hopefully get a different level of insight from. And, um, you know, just a lot of things are, are, are going upwards. And I'm just thankful to all the love and support um, to everyone that supports me and that watches my videos. And um, I'm hoping that, not I'm hoping, speaking into existence um i want to make it to 10,000 subscribers and that's my goal for the end of the year and i'm gonna keep pushing towards it so um yeah yeah so i just want to thank all of you guys thank you guys so much for the love and support and um if anyone wants to book a personal and private reading um, go ahead and skip on over to that about tab, okay? There's a hyperlink over there that says um, Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me if you would like to book a personal or private reading. Um, and if you want to uh, use these cards, if you want these cards, you will have to book the Twin Flame reading because these are specifically Twin Flame reading cards. If you just book a regular love reading, I'm going to use the... Um, during virtue love oracle deck okay so if you want to use these cards if you want these cards utilized in your reading you got to make sure that you book the twin flame reading okay because this is a bonus twin flame reading for your sign okay because i typically don't do that I, um you will have to go to the divine masculine or divine feminine twin flame videos in order to get a twin flame reading um I typically don't do it uh, based on signs, but I think I am going to start implementing this to the most viewed uh, uh, videos. So anyway, um, and if you want to give a, a, a donation or a love offering, go ahead and click that uh, PayPal link in the description. Okay, let's get into the reading. Dear Lord, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of cancer. Father, the energy I'm getting in regards to cancer, I'm just getting um I'm just getting the energy of kind of I don't wanna say like giving up but just settling. I just got a a, a feeling of settling. Um and this song is just playing in the, in the background. It's like, I want to love you uh, in every kind of way. I want to love you no matter how long it takes. If the world were in tomorrow and we only had today, I want to love you in every kind of way. I want to give you all of me. And I really do feel like cancer is in a situation right now where it's like, I don't feel like they're with a the person that they feel like that about. I feel like they think about this person that they have those feelings about a lot. And I feel like 
they just feel like they're they're okay, but I feel like they're in a place of where they're just settling in their current existence right now. And I want Cancer to be happy. I truly, truly want Cancer to be happy, Father God. And can you just please give the sign of Cancer guidance in regards to how to unlock that door to complacency? To complacency because complacency will eventually create bitterness and resentment. And I don't want Cancer to stay stagnant in a place where they really don't want to be in. I want them to be able to find true happiness because I feel like stability is the most important thing. It's, it's not, I feel like for this Cancer, it's like stability over true love. You know? That's all I'm saying. I want to make you feel safe. Like he want, he want to feel safe. She want to feel safe. Picking stability over true love. And I want. I want for us to be able to give cancer some guidance. Some insight. To have that courage to really go. To really go for what their heart truly desires. I want them to not waste their time anymore. But something that is not truly where their heart wants to be. Um, please open up the door so that they can walk through and leave that complacency behind open up that door to that complacency so they can let fresh air in and leave all of that complacency that complacency and that stagnation and that non-movement behind and allow them to open up the doors and get some fresh air and walk forward into the light into a new destiny of true happiness and abundance and prosperity of what they really want in their life you know one thing that we can't ever get back is time that is the most valuable thing and who we give our heart to you know and who we give our heart to so dear lord please give the sign of cancer guidance to continue to walk forth and be strong and to keep their heart and their mind's eye at the first foremost thought in their mind and everything that they do think about their feelings think about the feelings of others and truly lead them to the footsteps of happiness in 2019 father please give us guidance for the sign of cancer for february 2019 Thank you so much for all of the messages and the blessings in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance for the sign of cancer. All right. So let's get the overall energy here. Oh, I can't shuffle today. Okay. Sure. I can't shuffle. Please give me guidance for the sign of cancer. If I don't say it, it can make you feel something I don't know what you do. Whoa, the love is in reverse. The eight of cups. And a night of swords, honey. You trying too hard. You can't make me love you. No, I won't. If I'm not into you, don't hit me with the interview. Stop asking all these questions. You got the fool. And the seven of wands. Look at you up there like Jet Li trying to whoop everybody ass. Good God, what you doing, Cancer? What is you doing, baby? What is you doing, baby? Girl. Listen to me. Listen to me. Cancer, I feel like y'all have lost the love of y'all life. 
y'all have lost the love of your life you lost your soulmate and all of these cups have been spilled over this person that was in your life that was the love of your life that was your soulmate i don't think that you really valued this person and you really you know i feel like you took this person for granted when they were in your life and now that they they done left because you see this person left this person literally left everything behind left every damn thing behind and kicked over the fucking cups just to make sure it wasn't nothing left behind for you to have any memories of literally left you with just the shirt they walked away with the shirt on their back they said i would not emotionally give this to you anymore i won't i won't, I won't give myself emotionally to this situation anymore and they packed they shit up and they left you okay because they said, I know that the sun shines bright somewhere else. You know? Because this right here isn't love. And right now, you're, you're sitting back looking at these spilled cups. Like, is this person really gone? Are they really, really gone? Are they really coming back? No, this person not coming back. This person gone. Like, this person... Does it even look like this person remotely looks like he wants to turn around? This motherfucker kick these bitches over. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's no love here anymore. And I feel like cancer, the only thing that you got right now is the memories. And I feel like that's what you do a lot right now. You are sitting back and you're focusing on the love that was lost in the memories. And you're looking back at these cups and you're just like, I can't believe I let this person walk away from me. Like, I can't believe I let this person walk away. And I honestly feel like the worst thing that you could have did, Cancer, was allow this person to realize that they could be okay without you. You know what I'm saying? You had eight cups there, and it's like you kept fucking up. You knocked one cup over. You knocked two cups over. You knocked three cups over. You knocked four cups over. And it's like, you know what? This person was just like, you know what? I'd have never thought that I'd have made it. You know what I'm saying? To four cups. But this person still stuck it in there for you. For you to do it four more times. You know? You left them alone. You abandoned them. You you knocked these cups over so many times for this person where it was nothing left in there. Where it let them no choice but to have to go and search for refuge somewhere else. To go find sunshine somewhere the fuck else. The worst thing that you could have did was to knock over the emotions that was the foundation of the relationship and teach them how to love and how to live and be solid without you. How to live without your affections. How to live, you know what I'm saying? The worst thing you could do is to teach somebody how to live and be without you. I feel like uh, Cancer is angry right now. And it's like they really, really want to rush forward and just want to go the fuck off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like cancer feels like they're the victim in the situation. And they want to rush forward and they want to cuss a motherfucker out. And it's like the audacity. Like, who the fuck do you think you... Like, who? where do you think you going? Like... I did not tell you that you could go anywhere. I did not tell you. I, I let you just walk out my life. But, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, it's like, like, that's basically what cancer is, is feeling like. They, they, they really, they're really fucking upset about this shit. <coughs> they're really, really upset about this shit. And it's like... Cancer sees the person that they were with being a fool. Just like this person, you see the zero has zero fucks. This person does not give a single solitary fuck in this world about cancer. Doesn't even think about cancer. This person is out sniffing the roses of a new beginning so much so that they're not paying attention to where they're going. And even if they is about to fall off of the cliff. They said, I know I'm going to land on my feet. 
They still smelling that rose. They is not what. They don't give no fucks. And you see that dog about to jump down there and follow him. Like, where the fuck is you going? Like, you, you, you tripping. Like, where you going? Like, I'm good. A motherfucker down there walking on air, walking on faith. This person is being led by faith. And this shit is pissing cancer the fuck off. This nigga done flew up in the air off some Sam, off some gently samurai goddamn Ginzu goddamn karate knife goddamn bullshit. Hi, chop, pop. Like, what the fuck, nigga? I ain't even knew a nigga was that motherfucker limber like that. Like, where, where the fuck you learn how to jump up in the air and wave your your legs in the air like you don't care kicking niggas and shit or some fucking Tybo goddamn kickboxing goddamn the fuck? <laughs> Cancer wants to, it's like deep in Cancer's body in their soul. It's like if they could rush forward, cuss you the fuck out, and beat everybody the fuck off that's on your timeline. It's like these are people that's on your timeline. Like they be on your, your <laughs> I feel like Cancer be on your internet. And they see all of these like. All this competition from all of these people, like, trying to holler at you and shit. And they want to jump for it. Like, bitch, I'll fuck y'all. If y'all back the fuck up off my bitch. Like, no, this my bitch. Fuck is wrong with y'all? If y'all get the fuck up, like, a hey, slam. I'm about to karate size all y'all in this motherfucker. If y'all do not back the fuck up, young, this nigga got the eye of the tiger playing in the back. <laughs> I the tiger But like, like, <laughs> they legitimately seeing you out here enjoying your life, carefree, fuck free. Like you, like I'm trying to tell you, when you walked away from cancer, you left all that emotional baggage, all of that bullshit, everything that had anything to do with this cancer, the fuck behind. And you never looked back because you knew it was better days. On the other side of those mountains. You seen the sun shining right there. This person didn't appreciate you. There was no love there when you left. There wasn't no love there when you left. So why now all of a sudden. Like all of this is so important to cancer. You know it's because motherfuckers don't appreciate what they got until the well run dry. You know what I'm saying. So <coughs> it's like don't. Fucking cry over spilled milk and you want to rush forward and cuss motherfuckers out and you want to get mad because a motherfucker happy and shit and a nigga out here is carefree and shit and you want to beat everybody off. No nigga, you're crazy. Mind your business. You don't have any business over here. You have zero business over here. Zero. You mad because I ain't sniffing your flower no more? You mad because I'm not about to jump off the motherfucking ledge with your ass? Over your ass no more? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. They is not for this shit or cancer. If this is you, you the one that, that walked away. Yeah, this motherfucker is mad because you out there sniffing the flowers and shit. And they is ready to come in. Like, hold on, cancer. Where the fuck, who the fuck you about to give all that good loving to? Ain't nobody told you to give nobody that good. Don't nobody say that near another the way cancer say that near another. Like, you not about to be giving nobody that near another. You not about to be giving it to a near another. I will be every last one of these motherfucking asses. Like, that's his... <laughs> fucking psycho. Fucking crazy, yeah. Please give me some guidance in regards to this relationship. Oh, good Lord have mercy. You want to go ahead and just drop it all out dead like that? You just going to drop it out. Inner child. The springtime. Mute. 
destruction, marital world, solitude, winter, a barrier, commitment, pride, and patience. Well, doesn't that say a whole bunch, bitch? No, that say a whole lot. break this down into two different things because and then it goes into the winter yeah it's two different seasons okay all right so right now I feel a, I feel I wanna be I wanna be like Mike Right now, I feel like this is the inner child card. I honestly feel like this whole situation is dead-ass childish. That's honestly what I'm getting. I feel like it was a lot of childish goddamn behavior that happened around the springtime that ended this situation. I feel like the last time that y'all spoke to each other was around the springtime. Around spring break, like What's spring break? Like April, May or some shit like that? I feel like this um, relationship ended around April and May. And y'all literally, y'all have not spoken to each other since then. Since the springtime. Over something childish. And, it, and it's not that it's childish. It's childish that the person allowed the things that they allowed to come in between the, the relationship in the relationship. That's what's childish. And it's like the person who was the one who destroyed the relationship, they couldn't control certain little childish urges within their self. And they allowed this. To destroy this relationship. And y'all haven't spoken to each other since the springtime. And literally. This person has muted you out. Okay. So this person has muted you out. And you have not spoken to this person. Since the springtime. Because you won't grow up. You will not grow up cancer. Alright. You created destruction. In the harmony that was the foundation of this relationship. Your behavior and you not growing up and you wanting to stay attached to this inner child behavior. This cycle that you've been carrying over and over and over and over and over since you were a child. You just don't want to grow up. You want to be a Toys R Us kid. Yeah, that was that tornado that came through and then broke down this goddamn to uh, this foundation. And that's why this person doesn't want to speak to you. Not only that. But Cancer, you're currently in a relationship right now. Okay? I feel like you have... uh. No, this says material world. Excuse me. Material world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel, like, I feel like in the material world right now, I feel like... The only thing that matters to you is what makes sense. You see what I'm saying? It's what makes sense. And I feel like in the springtime, there might have been some financial woes in a situation, in this relationship that started the issues in the destruction in this relationship. Okay? Because it was something that cancer was searching. Because like I told you, cancer... They will choose material security over love. And they truly will. They will. It's about what matters to them and what makes sense in the material world. You understand? So they'll destroy something, even if it's the thing that they truly love, if it's not making sense to them. If it don't hold no material value to them. If they got a whole nother situation over there where people are giving them money. 
they gonna go over there. But this situation, chasing this material world, has this person in the in the point of solitude right now where they just sitting back for hours and hours, days on days on end, thinking about that material investment that they made. And I do when I, I'm trying to tell you this person is in a relationship with someone else. They made a material investment with someone else that they currently want to seek solitude from. Because not all and not everything that glitters is gold. Not everything that glitters is gold. And cancer done went out there and they put love on the back burner. Being a fucking child, being childish, being fucking childish, right? Being childish, chasing something that they felt like had more material value to only end up alone. Even if you're in this relationship, you're not happy and you feel fucking alone. And not only feel alone, you don't want to be there. You want to just be alone. Tuh. Like, you really just want to be the fuck alone. But at the same time, it's just like, this person gives a certain material value to your world. You know? So, it's like, that's why you're seeking the solitude. Because I don't feel like you could just easily walk away from something that is your material world. <coughs> anyway so this is the winter okay currently right now it is the winter time it is the winter time indeed and I feel like there's a barrier in regards to this commitment there's a barrier in regards to this commitment okay there is a material commitment with someone that they want to seek solitude from. They want to seek solitude from, but their pride and ego just won't let them. You see what I'm saying? Their pride and ego, not only will their pride and ego not allow them to go back to this person in the past and try to break that barrier down and apologize to them about, you know, the destruction. Because, mind you, that's right above here. It's right above here. Commitment. That destruction of the commitment. Their pride and ego. Because the material world. Because I'm chasing the material world. Okay? This winter, this cancer, this winter, this cancer wants to break this barrier down. This person hasn't spoken to you. This person hasn't seen you since the springtime. You've muted this person. This person has not seen or spoken to you since the springtime. It's all the way to wintertime. 2019, you still haven't unmuted this person. They want to break this barrier. They really do wish that they could come back and offer commitment and true love and stability to a person that they really want to be with. But their pride and ego won't let them. They really don't know what to say. They really don't know how to ask for forgiveness. And I really don't feel like they know how to get their self out of this situation that they're in above here. And and they really just they really just want to destroy this material world that they've invested their self in currently. And they really want solitude. Because they want to break down this barrier and they want to offer commitment. But they got to work on this pride and ego thing. But it's going to take some patience for them. It's something that they got to really work on on the inside. It's something that they really got to work on 
in the inside like you haven't spoken to this person in so long and I really feel like this shit breaks their heart it's just like I never thought that this person would legitimately get the fuck up and like leave me leave me like this you know why because that person allowed cancer to fuck them over several times plus and they got so complacent and just breaking this person's heart and not giving a fuck about cancer ain't give a fuck they never in their life thought that this person would get up and walk away and this person left everything behind the only thing you have to look back at is the memories Give me guidance to let me know what type of issues it is that Cancer is dealing with in the shadows that is blocking this connection. Please give me guidance to let me know as well. No, one thing at a time. Let me find out what is currently blocking it. Whoa. They're scared you're going to be judgmental. And they feel like they're irresponsible. They feel like you're going to be judgmental. And they know that they're too irresponsible. I don't feel like they trust their self. They don't trust their self to come back and do the right thing. I feel like they're scared that if they come back, they're going to do the same thing again. Like, it'll be good for a little bit. But... By the spring again, they'll be back out there cheating and doing the same shit. They don't trust themselves. Mm, mm, mm. That's crazy. Quite easy. Uh, and shit, I forgot what the fuck the second was. I was about to add shit. That shit just... Um... Spirit, what was going on with Cancer or with the Cross Watcher where they weren't satisfied in the relationship that pushed the person to leave them? Why did they, why did they, what was the relationship missing or what happened? Why was Cancer hurting that person so much? So they wanted to leave. What was going on in the shadow with cancer? Childish. Told you. Childish. Childish as fuck. This person can't control their fucking lust. And it says here that this person was repelled by you. Hmm. Hmm. Give me some additional guidance. What made cancer repel? They were repelled because they had too many secrets. Because they were being secretive. It wasn't nothing about you that made them felt repelled by you. They felt repelled because they were holding too many secrets and they felt guilty about that shit. They had to hold the mask on. So that's why they repelled you away from them. <laughs> right now, they're in a state of emptiness. Their life is empty and hollow without you. When you left this person's life, it's like you took their soul. They're just a cold, hollow shell right now. They're trying to find happiness, but they're not. I feel like they're cold and bitter. And they're too cowardly to come forward. Hmm. 
Alright, so let's find out if um, Cancer could talk. Y'all haven't seen each other since the spring, so if Cancer could talk right now to express their feelings to the person who left them, what would Cancer say? What would Cancer say if they could open up their mouth and speak and talk and let this person know that they truly love? how they feel I want to be authentic I am no longer afraid is it possible to forgive and forget I feel damaged like I just can't do this so basically what I, I, I honestly feel like this person this person, it's like they want to feel authentic and, and, and they're not afraid of recognizing who they are and their faults and certain things about their self. I feel like they come to a certain revelation about that, but they can honestly sit down and possibly talk about it. But it's like at the same time, it's like they really don't want to dig that deep down it's like they're able to look at their self in the mirror and address and confess those things to their self but in regards to you they really don't want to have that type of conversation they if they could they rather just sweep things under the rug and just want to see if it's possible just to forgive and forget and just pick up and just keep moving you know what i'm saying but at the same time it's like like i said this person this person feels damaged. This person feels damaged because I don't think this person really understands why they do the, the things that they do and how to stop doing it and how to fuck to grow up for real. Like, this person just, just, no. Mm -mm. Spirit, give me some additional guidance. And this is the vice versa, Tarot. Spirit, please give me some additional guidance for the sign of cancer. In regards to a twin and true love. additional guidance for the sign of cancer with February what I'm getting this is the eight of Pentacles this is you know this is the first side you see this is vice versa so what I'm getting here you see how these Pentacles really aren't forged yet it's like imaginary forging this is what I'm getting from this I honestly feel like Cancer never really had a father figure or like a real strong man to honestly really, really show them as a child how to be a good man, how to be a strong provider. Like, you know what I'm saying? How to fix yourself as a man, how to build yourself as a man. I don't think that they really had a true father figure. To really truly show them how to be a man. And I feel like it was a lot of drama going on in their house. As a child. In their childhood. And I feel like it kind of fucked them up. 
it fucked them up. You understand what I'm saying? These are actual pinnacles. You see, those are solid pinnacles. This is what he really created. This is a figment of an imagination. And it's like, I feel like this is cancer wishing now. You know what I'm saying? Realizing that a lot of the shit that they've been going through is, is repetitive, childish behavior. And I feel like now that they're sitting back wishing that they really would have had someone to really teach them these foundations and these fundamental things. So they wouldn't be in a stage in their life. And it's just like, I feel like <coughs> excuse me. I feel like they really are not They're in search for mental clarity, and I, and I do see that they're rushing forward. This is the Knight of Swords, you know what I'm saying? I, I do see that they're rushing forward in regards to some type of mental clarity, but I feel like there's certain shit that they are turning their back to, and that they're really not addressing as to what their problem is. And it's like, you can't really address the problem. You can't just look at it like, oh, well, I'm blaming it because, you know, I really didn't have a real solid father figure around. Like, no, no, no. That might be the issue. But that ain't all of the fucking issue, my nigga. Don't, don't, don't find something just easily just to blame your bullshit on. You need to dig deeper to figure out what the real meat and potatoes is to what the fuck your problems is and why you can't stay in a solid and committed relationship and why you destroy every fucking solid and committed relationship and, and you destroy all the relationships of people that really give a fuck about you. Because that's honestly what I feel. I feel like they, they just have a good way of destroying every fucking good thing that comes to them. Do you understand? And it's like... You are in the inside of the sanctuary. Do you understand? You are in the inside of the sanctuary. Somewhere that you should feel safe. Somewhere that you should feel comfort. But you're miserable. You're miserable. But you left this person out in the cold. You left this person out of the cold. And you didn't give a fuck about how you made this person feel. How you made this person cry. How you broke this heart. How cold they were. How hungry they were. What their health state was. After you left them. Financially how you left them. You just left them out in the fucking cold. And you did not give a fuck. You only give a fuck about yourself. You only cared about yourself. So it's like now. Even though you are still in this lap of luxury. And you're indoors in this security. You're still miserable around your sub environment. Hmm. All right, so this is the uh, four wands here. All right, this is the cooler side. You know, this is the back side of it. So it's like, yes, yes. You know, this is a good card. This is a card of celebration. This is a card of reunion. This is a card of um. Marriage. This is a card of commitment and things like that. And I feel like Cancer is seeing you skipping away into the sun, into the sunlight. You know, about to be committed to someone else. And I, I, I feel like it pains them. It pains them. It really pains them. This is the sun. This is the sun card. And again, this is another child, okay? This is reflecting that I don't think that, that cancer really sees their purpose. I don't really think that they see that they need to grow up and, and the things that, you know, I don't, I don't really think that they see that they need to grow up, you know? 
I don't think they know their path, their purpose, their journey. I don't even think that they even know what they're doing here in this life. They're just creating just chaos. Like, I mean, honestly, it's what they're doing is creating chaos. And they're in a situation where they feel... They try to put it off to other people and make it seem like they're so tied up and they're so burdened in a situation that they don't want to be in. But you're not. You got a knife right behind your back that you can easily... First off, those ropes is loose as shit. You got the knife behind your back. It looked like you all bowed and tied up. But nigga, you, you stop lying. Stop lying. You can soar free if you want to. You choose to stay... St you, you choose to stay there. Because it gives you financial security. It gives you financial security, okay? About to do one more card because I know y'all y'all had a long ass day and reading. Good gracious, come on now. I ain't reading two cards. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it because y'all already got a long ass reading. Uh, I let you have it. You took me for granted. Always want to play the victim when they don't know the truth is you left me with scars on my heart And I never take it that far mm, How could you say that it was true love? If true love is absolute It keep trying to drop two cards out, hold on Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Calm amidst chaos, Lord Jesus. What more can I say, Cancer? What more can I say? Sea storm. And you are a water sign. Indeed, you surely know how to erupt your own stormy, watery chaos, don't you, Cancer? Mm, mm, mm. You won't let me inside, no, you push me away. You'll never change. Okay, so it says, even though the seas are wild and the atmosphere is torn with stabs of lightning, there is no land in sight. The sea storm being is following her intuition and she will know what to do to make it home lightning won't strike her and she will keep swimming until she reaches land she seems slightly in the trench and is using her inner wisdom and deep knowledge to swim home she is from atlantis where she saw beings doing things that would lead to destruction she has seen how their hubris led to this upheaval and her home has sunk under the waves. Now she goes out for search of a new home and so can you too. You hear that? The land and everyone from the place that she was from and that she's known, their hubris, their ego, their pride is what sunk the whole goddamn village under the sea. She is now going out in search for a new home, and so can you. The sea storm speaks. You are surrounded by storms, wild moments, and a great deal of emotional drama at this time. The world you know is changing in almost unrecognizable ways. There is destruction behind you, and you have left it in the past, but you are still searching for your new home. You will find it if you turn inwards and listen to your inner knowledge that will send you in the right direction. Don't look. Look. You're a shapeshifter. Shit, I could have told you that. Fake-ass motherfucker. You're a shapeshifter, and you are able to make it through this time. With no land, no home, no apparent rescue by trusting that you will make it. Yeah, y'all are shapeshifters, all right. Because I've, I've dated a cancer, and I know a lot of cancers, especially a lot of cancer females. Y'all will, especially the cancer females, if it's something that they feel like they can get out of a man that is something of a material value... They will put on for you whatever the fuck you want. They will feed you whatever the fuck you want to eat. 
as long as they get whatever they want. And that's not necessarily a good thing. That's not something to be proud of. You should always be solid. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's you know, water can, you could put water in any type of shape and it'll adapt to, you know what I'm saying? Because it is a shape shifter. You understand? But at some point in time in your life, you got to be solid and be you. You can't keep changing who you are, your personalities and putting masks on and shit like that. Anyway, I'm a, I'm a digress. I'm a digress. Whoever that was for, you knew, you know why I said that. All right. So the divination message, this time of upheaval is great change, but if you tune into that deeper inner voice and follow your radar you have built into your very cells, you will find the way home through all this chaos and wreckage. The old world is gone. The new world is yet to be found. The journey will continue for some time, but trust, trust and trust and follow the compass of your inner guidance. Listen and check into your wisdom that go in that direction. You are more adaptable, more flexible, and more able to survive than you know. Interest in the lands of uh, Lumera, uh, Lord Jesus, this third grade education, um, Lemuria and Atlantis, and the memories of these lands may be, be surfacing. I don't know who the fuck uh, Lemuria is, but whatever. But listen, let me tell you something. Cancer, baby, I love y'all. And I truly do love y'all. Because let me tell y'all, one of the most truest and deepest loves of my life was a cancer. And, um... Uh, as far as I know right now, he's in a he's in a relationship and he seems to be happy. You know what I'm saying? And I wish him all of the best. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, um, like yeah, he was a shapeshifter. You know what I'm saying? Like he was a shapeshifter and he did create a lot of chaos in his environments. Not just. Not just in relationships, but with his family as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just liked to create a whole bunch of destruction. It's like this person was so selfish. Only thing this person, this person's a fucking narcissist. Like, serious, and I'm not trying to be offensive. But this person was so secretive and always wore masks. This person would lie and lie and lie and lie and deceive and manipulate and this controlled him couldn't stay faithful to save his life and the fucked up thing is this person really loved me I don't even think this motherfucker really know why he couldn't keep his dick in his pants I don't even think this person knows but at the end of the day I don't I don't for one second think that this person after I left this person is wherever he's at now being anything different than what he's shown me that what he is. You know what I'm saying? I honestly don't. You know? So people have to grow up. People have to grow up and come to a certain point of realization and recognize certain things in their life and what they have attributed to their situation and their lifestyle and things being the way that it is. You know, and they got to be able to look at their self in the goddamn mirror, okay? Because how many times did childish come up? Like, inner child, 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 child. Like, this person has a lot of growing the fuck up to do. Has a lot of growing up to do. And you can't just use that just because... Oh, hold on. What is this? Did I not see this come out? What is this? Insecure and what? Medicating. This person is very fit. This person is fearing coming to speak to you. Because they feel insecure and they feel like that you will reject them. And they have been heavily medicating themselves. And like I said, this person is in a situation where they're not happy. In. And what is this? I just said that this person's in a situation they're not happy in and they want to walk away. And they're insecure about how they're going to survive without this person. 
Because they feel like they need this person. They need this person for material. For material. For the material world. And they don't know how they're going to survive without this person. So anyway. This video resonated with y'all at all. Okay. Um, and like I said, you know. I don't know about the cancers. I don't know about the cancers that y'all know. I know about the cancer that I know. My cancers, and I know a few of them. I know a few cancers. I have cousins that are cancers. I have female friends that are cancers. I have male friends that are cancers. I have an ex that's a cancer. Like, legitimately, they're good people. But they can be narcissists sometimes. They really, really can. You know what I'm saying? They can be very fucking selfish. Very selfish. But they're hard workers, and you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of beautiful, beautiful qualities to them. But... If you don't want to look in the mirror and face the reality of certain shit that you need to work on, it's a lost cause. It's a lost cause, you know? You can't... That's why you feel insecure and you don't want to come and address the situation because you really ain't trying to work on it. You really not trying to work on your issues and shit like that. You over here talking to people... About these imaginary pinnacles. Like yeah I'm working on myself. Where's the, where's the solidarity to these pinnacles? It's a figment of your imagination. You're not working on shit. When you really get to work in. Then go and holler at this person. That is your true love. That's if this person. Will even let you talk to them. Because like I told you they put you on mute. Okay. So anyway. I love you cancer. Get your shit together. Get your shit together. And if you really want true love, if you want your love back, go get them. But get your shit together. Come at them solid and whole. Don't come at them with no figmented ass goddamn pinnacles, okay? Truly work on yourself and get your shit together. Alright? I see y'all. If this video resonated, if you want a personal private reading, go ahead and click that about tab. Use that hyperlink, Scorpion Reds Tarot, as simply book me. And if this video resonated, if you want to give a love donation, you can feel free. There's a hyperlink in the description. I love you guys. I see you guys in your February uh, regular monthly reading. Love and light.